So in this video, I am going to explain the question which were recently asked in code forces around 892 period for division 2 only. So first let us understand the problem statement. So the name of the problem is games with array. So what problem has given that we will be given an array of different sizes. The size of array will not be same and what we can do, we what we can do, I can select any elements for, for example I have a single array. What I can do, I can select any element from that array and put that element in the any another array. For example, in this case, like I have 4 and 3. So I can choose my 3 and put it in this array. I can choose my 1 and put it in this array. And this is, these are the possible number of operations. And one more thing, I can only put one element from one array to another array. Means I can only substitute one which, which means I can only send my one element to another array. I cannot send more than one element from single array. But one array can receive multiple elements. There is no hard and fast rule that one array cannot receive multiple elements. One array can receive multiple elements, but it can, but it can send at most one element only. And what problem has said that we have to find is beauty, the beauty of the all the arrays. And how the beauty is defined? The beauty is defined maximum sum of all the minimum elements of the arrays, which means the record the num the after performing the operations. But we what we have to do? We have to find the minimum element of all the array and sum them together, and we have to maximize the sum. So and we have to maximize the, maximize that sum. So this is the problem statement. So I hope you have understood the problem statement. So let's begin with the solution. So for example, in this case, I have my array like one, two, and four and three. So what I can do, I can send my 3 to this array. So my 3 comes here and my 3 is not here. So minimum of this array becomes 1 and minimum of this array becomes 4. So my answer is 5. So you can see my answer is 5. So if you if you wonder how come this how come answer of this test case my, means my answer of third test case is become 19. So I will show you how is become 19. So this is my test case. So what I can do, I can send my two from this position to this two from this array to this array, which means two is cut from here, and I can add two like this. So next, what I can do, I can send my six from this to six array to this array. So the minimum of this becomes two. The minimum of this becomes now eight, and the minimum of this becomes now. 6 or I can also do which wait, wait a minute I have done a wrong set I will send my 6 to this array only so my minimum of this become 2 my minimum of this become 8 and my minimum of this become 9 so the sum of all these number is 15 so this is the so I so I hope so you have now understand the how come the answer is coming for dis different test cases so now the remaining solution the remaining part of the solution how I can find the minimum, how can I find the maximum answer of uh, according to the question. So there is one observation that whatever the whatever the minimum element will be, I cannot change that minimum element or my minimum element will, al will always be part of my answer. I cannot neglect the minimum answer which means for example I put this 2 in any another array, the 2 will remain in any which means if I put this 2 in any of the one of the array my 2 is minimum it will be always coming in the minimum sum so my 2 so which means my minimum with the, the element which is the minimum of all the arrays will also will always come in the array will always come in the answer so now second step so now second step would be that I have to find the second minimum element of all the arrays and, and uh, now you would be thinking how come second minimum element will be the will be possible for example i have different arrays like this 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 these are array these are all only wait a minute i have like 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 here it is one, seven, eight, nine. so in this so this is whole 10 so in this case my minimum is this number so i cannot neglect this so in every other in every other array i can see what is my second what is my minimum number so in this array my minimum element is 5 so what i can do 
I can simply cut five over here and put in the array which contains the minimum element. So I will put it here because my minimum element is all always justified. So if, but those which means the minimum element of other arrays will always be greater than my minimum element. So if I put the minimum element of other array array in the uh, array which it is containing minimum element of all all the arrays, then my minimum element in that array will always be my minimum element. So now my five, five come here. Now in this case my minimum element is seven. Now I now I then put it this put the seven in my array containing minimum element. So this is done. So now what it will be the answer? So answer in front of you. Answer is my like this only. One here minimum is one. Here minimum is six, and here minimum is eight. So uh, my answer would be seven plus eight, fifteen. So this is a one case. So for example, I have a array like this. Which means if I show you, uh, which means I have show you this. So if I show you that my minimum element is now, um, for example, in this case I have like 13, 14, and like 12. So this is my new array. So what I do? This is again the minimum element. I cannot ignore this minimum element. So according to a greedy algorithm, what I will do first, I will simply put this five in this array. I will put this seven in this array. So now you would say my answer would be 1, 6 plus 8 again, again that is equal to 15. But no, this time this is the wrong. But I can do next, I can put the second minimum element of this array in any another array because I have not sent any element from this minimum array from this array to any another array, which means this have one operation left. So I can send this 12 to this array. So my sum would be now 1 plus 12 plus 7 this is my new answer which is greater than 15 so i hope you have understand the problem intuition so the my problem intuition would be i would find the minimum element of all the arrays which means first of all i will find the minimum, minimum element of the all the arrays then what i will do i will sum up of, or i will sum up all the second minimum element from all the arrays which means summation of second minimum element so I will sum up all the second minimum element and now what I will do for example in this case my all second minimum elements will be my second minimum elements are no, 12 6 and 8 I will neglect for example in this case what I have done I will send I have sent my 12 the array which is containing my min, which is containing my minimum element of the second minimum elements which is at most which is which is 6 so i will send this send this to 12 in that array which is containing minimum of all the second minimum arrays so what i will do i will neglect this 6 and i will now i will add my 12 so my and that is my minus my minimum of all the second minimum so this is the answer so i if i sum up the solution if i sum up the solution the solution will be my minimum element of all the arrays plus my second minimum element of all the arrays plus summation of all the second minimum elements of all the arrays minus my minimum of my all the second minimum array second minimum element so if i show you the implementation so implementation is pretty much easy but i have done it in complex way so you can you can always do it in a better way so this is a problem uh, solution so what i have done i have this is noted so I have first uh, traverse I have first, I have I am first taking the all the input arrays. Now I am I am finding the two two minimum elements which I am calculating the two at least minimum elements from my array, which are the two smallest elements in my array. Then finding the two smallest elements in my el uh, two smallest elements, I am, I am putting that in my array. Uh, also I am calculating the minimum element of all the arrays. So at at the end what I will do I will simply add up all the second minimum element of all the arrays now what i will do i will add the minimum array minimal element of all the arrays now and i will minus the minimum element of all the second minimum element and this is all also the answer so i hope you have understood the solution so this is the only problem solution so if you like the video please consider subscribe and till then stay tuned for the next one thank you